everybody. Hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. I'm just making a real quick uh, quilting tutorial, kind of a quilting quick tip. I have had many of you ask me in comments and sending me emails about how to get these points right on these pieces, especially in a quilt like Lori Holt's Sew by Row. And I'm in the middle right now of making what is called the checkerboard star and that's this one right here. So there are a lot of these points in here. And here's one that's a little bit bigger on the front. So the idea is to not have your points get tipped when you sew all of the pieces together. And if the square is not pieced properly, that's that's a real possibility. So I'm about to show you a real quick trick and hopefully it can make your piecing go a lot better because mastering this little skill right here is you'll see the this type of piecing over and over and over in quilting and getting it down can make your life a lot easier. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm just doing a quick tutorial I've had several people email me or make comments on my videos asking how to get a star point correct. I'm in the middle of doing Sew by Row by Lori Holt and there are a lot of these uh, pieces and parts where in the quilt you'll have a piece and then you have to sew another piece to it and then you will fold it over and then trim it off and the end result is that the shape of the piece remains the same. And this is exactly what you're looking for where you've got a nice point right here that it is not cut off and you and it's it's everything fits exactly as it should once that new piece is put on from the back, it shouldn't look any different in size or shape than it does from the original piece. Now how to do this, there is a term in the garment sewing world called turn of cloth. And turn of cloth, if I was to take this little piece and when I fold it like this, to make that triangle, this little tiny edge right here is called turn of cloth. That is actually space, and it might be two or three threads, but it is still space. And so if you sew directly from point to point on this square and fold it over, your top piece isn't going to reach and be the right size because the turn of cloth took up that space. So what you do with this is go ahead and take a little ruler on the piece that's going to be on top that you're going to sew on. And you want to put your ruler exactly on the point diagonally. Put it exactly on the point. All right. Then you want to take some sort of marker. This is a friction pen. And with the friction pen, I prefer the pen in this instance instead of a marker because it has a finer point. I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to, that prevents um, stretching on the bias on the diagonal. Start in the middle and I'm just going to make a line. Now because the ruler is on exact point to point, that means the line is just over, just a little bit. And when you first start doing this until you get the idea of it, so believe it or not, it may not look like it to you, but this half of this, of this is bigger than this half. So this is the small side. I like to make a little mark on there. This is the point that I will cut off. So I'm going to match these up exactly corner to corner, side to side, and make sure it fits. 
If you're very new at it, you may want to take a pin, put the pin in to make sure it doesn't shift until you get the hang of this. Now, it's very handy. This is called Diagonal Seam Tape, and this is from a company called Cluck Cluck Sew. So I will put a link to it below in the description box. But what you want to do now is you want to sew exactly on that drawn line that you have. And the diagonal seam tape, what it does is it gives you a line of exactly where the needle is going down on the, on the plate. And the reason I say to get this is because I've been doing this so long, I no longer have to draw my lines. I know that if I put my needle right, I'm gonna use these little tweezers, I know that if I put my needle right here on this side of the point and I keep this point exactly over on this side of the red line on the diagonal seam tape that I'm going to essentially sew right where this drawn line is right here. So for the beginner you want to exactly hit that line And again, you can't tell, but the line is sewn on, believe it or not, the shorter side of the triangle. So once you, on the square I should say, once you've got this, before you cut, don't cut yet, you want to take the larger piece and you want to fold it over and match that corner exactly and then finger crease finger press this. You see how that turned out? That turned out perfectly. Okay. Now you can trim your little threads and trim the part that you don't need down to a quarter of an inch. You don't really, really don't want to leave that on there. You'll get too much bulk. But now you can tell You've sewn this on, everything fits right, and it matches. It looks exactly like it's supposed to. So that is the trick. Take into consideration the turn of cloth for when that fold happens, and you want to keep the larger half of the square on the diagonal out and trim away the smaller one that you might have made a little mark on. That's just the easiest way to do that. When you have a whole bunch of squares that they want you to go ahead and make marks on, these I'm doing one at a time, but if I'm going to do a whole bunch, I'll go ahead and set my ruler exactly, diagonal, make my line and mark my short side. And that way, whenever I take my stack over to the sewing machine, I know that whatever side is going to be cut off, that's the short side. And this works every time. I'll get in real close and show you one more time. So this piece has been marked exactly point to point on the diagonal with the ruler and then the line drawn I'm going to cut this half off, so that is the part I need to make sure it's in the right spot according to the pattern. I'm going to sew exactly on the line. There's the last one in this colorway. That really turned out very nice. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best. We'll talk to you soon. Go sew something. <laughs>